Hey, how's it going, my deadly mercenary family? Cosmic Mercy here bringing you a new video, and today we're going to continue the Metroid Dread reports. We're in volume 7. If you guys don't know, I started a series where I went through all the reports that were featured in Nintendo.com Metroid uh, news uh, page, and I've been reading through all the reports. So if you want to catch up, there's going to be a link to the playlist here in the top right corner. So if you guys want to catch up, go right ahead and uh, catch up. Other than that, guys, let's dive in. This report will be about the Chozo, and now if you guys know that I've been wanting to get more into the lore of the game, not just the technical stuff, and I think this is finally we're going to finally be able to dive in into the Chozo lore. But other than that, guys, let's, let's go. Let's go check out what the Chozos have to bring. Alright, so as you guys can see here, we're here. We're live. We're, well, we're not live, but we're here. So we got here the Metroid Dread. So the Metroid Dread Report, Volume 7, Secrets of the Chozo. Finally getting into some lore, baby. This is what I wanted to do. September 10th was the date that it was released. So let's go. So, of course, the intro. We're going to skip the intro. In this, well, however, we're going to start off over here. In this edition, we'll brush up on the Chozo history and take a closer look at some of the mystery of the mysterious warriors that Samus Aran encounters on her latest mission. Okay. So as you can see here. Oh, let me just turn up my camera. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as you can see here, I love one thing about the, I like about the Chozos is that it's so high, it's like a hier hieroglyphic, so that's uh, so that's interesting. So okay, and then one thing I want to say about this right is that uh, maybe the Chozos, like as you guys can see here, there's the the, the head Chozo, the 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 Emperor, the Sun Chozo, Ra himself, and he's using his machines or his warriors to cast down on the other Chozos. But I want to say that it was just out of self-defense. Maybe they already were infected and he knew better. But we'll see. I guess uh, <clears throat> the Chozos were highly intelligent and technologically advanced bird-like species who believed their purpose to be the uh, bringing peace throughout the galaxy. However, this once mighty civilization eventually reached a breaking point and collapsed. Now that Chozos who remain tend to avoid the galactic spotlight. Okay. After Samus lost her parents at a young age, the Chozo took her under their wing and raised her on planet Sebas. Uh, if not for the Chozos, there may not be Samus. That's true. Transmission for the Dev Team. As mentioned in a previous Metroid Dread report, Samus received a transplant of Chozo's DNA to allow her to survive the harsh conditions of Planet Zebus. Her power student arm cannon also made with the advanced Chozo technology. The Chozos are in ex extricable in, in, inextricably bound to Samus and the Metroid series. What role would they play in the story? Stay tuned. Okay, so that, that was the message from the developer team. So I guess this is head honcho Chozo over here, as you can see here. But I want to say, though, that this head honcho Chozo is infected with the X parasite. But let's see. Chozo warriors stand in her way. You can see multiple living Chozos in the latest trailer. They appear to recognize Samus as an enemy. In one scene set shortly after her arrival on planet CDR, a Chozo stands before Samus and silently attacks. Yeah, yeah, we saw that in the in, in in the beginning. So she completely gets destroyed, baby. But I feel like this Chozo is infected. I, I feel like I don't know. either that or he's taking care or he he. F I just there's some miscommunication. Oh, there goes my phone. But there's some miscommunication between this Chozo and Metroid. There's just something going on. Something's going on in this that's that's messing around with with how this environment is. So. We'll see. A powerful and mysterious Chozo warrior suddenly attacks Samus. Its right arm is equipped with an arm cannon just like Samus. This figure is much larger than Samus and other Chozo soldiers and it easily overpowers Samus in combat. So yeah. So these are the Chozo soldiers. So as you guys can see here, those are the ones here in the hieroglyphics over here. So... Chozo soldiers are equipped with a weapon that looks like a long spear. The trailer shows that they are highly capable fighters, with one scene showing them locked in fierce combat with Samus. Okay. Samus must also face these combat robots created using advanced Chozo technology. They are powerful forces to be reckoned with and capable of high-speed movement and armed with 
uh, electromagnetic blades as well as arm cannons and fired projectiles. Okay, so they're protecting something. There's something. There's gonna be another Metroid. There's gonna be another Metroid. It's gonna be the last of their kind that they've been trying to save, just to go up against the X Parasite. But something happened, and they're infected with the X Parasites. That's where I'm going with this. So there's transmission from the dev team. So, the presence of Chosos is one of the Metroid's Dread game's many terrors. Samus was raised by Chosos, but the Chosos who appear in the game are extremely hostile. Plus, she gets completely overwhelmed in her battle against the mysterious Chosos figures. What plans do these Chosos have? Are they enemies or allies to Samus? If they're enemies, how in the world will Samus defeat them? You'll have to play the game to answer and to get the answers you seek. So Chosa remnants from the previous games during the prior missions in Planet uh, Cebus and SR388. Samus had encountered Chosa artifacts and, you know, there. This one creeps me out just because it reminds me of the alien jockey from Alien. So, but it's pretty cool. Just Chosa technology is wicked cool. It just looks cool, and especially with this concept art over here. Good. Among them, Chosa memories found in the Metroid Samus Returns games from the for the Nintendo 3DS system that reveals parts of Choso history leading up to the events of Metro Dread. That's cool. That's that's all cool. Dude. All these concepts making the Metroids. The transmission from the dev team to Choso memory show that Choso landing on the planet SSR for research purposes purposes their first encounter with the X parasite and the th development of the metroid species intent to exterminate the X parasites but yes yes you yes, see yes, yes, the X parasites you know they land they meet the X parasites they're making the metroid the metroids go up against X parasites metroid metroid you see you see the metroids here these memories show a figure that bears a striking resemblance to a mysterious warrior who attacks Samus at planet CDR uh, with the help of these memories, it may be fun to speculate about ex exactly what happened in the planet SR388 and how it is tied into the Metroid Dread story. So, I don't see him as much. I see more of the priests that were like on. And I, I see him right here, definitely right there. But, uh,. But yeah, so something's happening. They're protecting something. They're probably protecting the last Metroid, the very last Metroid. And they're waiting for it to awaken or something like that. Or something something like that. But there's a misconception. They, they won't, I don't think that they will just throw in the Chozos here for nothing. But uh, yeah. So that was pretty much it. Very short, very short. Huh. The shortest one, in my opinion. More pictures than anything, really. So, but yeah, so the next time we're going to be going to the planet ZDR, baby. So yeah, let's go and check it out. So anyways, guys, that was a very short report. Yes, you guys know, usually the reports last 10 to 15 minutes, but this it took way short. But hey, it is what it is. Um, they went a little bit into uh, Chozo, not as much as I wanted it. Honestly, I wanted well, a lot more, but, uh, but hey, it is what it is. This is volume 7 of the report. So we got two more volumes left to go, and that means two more days. So we're going to be ending the reports at the day that Metroid Dread comes out. So I'm very excited to be playing, maybe, and I will be playing that game in my live streams here on YouTube. So if you guys want to check it out, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to go and watch the previous reports. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget, I do Super Smash Bros. every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, here in this YouTube channel and uh, I, not only that I think I will also be I will be playing uh, all-star brawl So if you're excited for that, let me know other than that guys. What do you guys think? Why are the choices there? And are the enemies or foes let me know in the comment section below other than that guys Thank you guys for watching stay vigilant and see you guys next time